What's quickest in a drag race? A tuned American car or a tuned German car? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race an F80 BMW M3 that's been tuned against a Ford Mustang 5 litre GT that's been tuned over the quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, car. wow. Now let me tell you about this BMW M3. So it's an F80 generation, so the previous model car. It's rear wheel drive, it's got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, and it's got a three litre straight six engine. Normally it has two turbos, but this one's been tuned by Tom Wrigley Performance, and they've removed the two turbos and replaced them with one big turbo. And they've also built the engine and fitted some other upgrades. The result is at maximum power, this car can produce 950 horsepower and over a thousand Newton meters of torque. Apparently, it's the quickest F80 BMW in Europe. It's been timed on a drag strip below 10 seconds. Though to run full power and to do that kind of time, it needs a prep surface and drag slicks. We haven't got a prep surface and I don't have slicks. So what they've done is turn the power down on this car to 850 horsepower and 950 Newton meters of torque. In terms of weight, it weighs in at 1.6 tons and it costs 40,000 pounds for the car and 40,000 pounds for the built engine and other upgrades. That Ford Mustang is from Clive Sutton. You can see a link in the description to all of Clive's cars that are currently for sale. That one's for sale now. It's £130,000. They've taken a Ford Mustang 5 litre GT, fitted a supercharger to it, so it now has 850 horsepower and 900 newton metres of torque. It weighs in at 1.7 tonnes. It's rear wheel drive and it has a six speed manual gearbox. And let's speak to the driver of the car. A man who likes manual gearboxes, even though he never actually drives them anymore. Hey, Yanni, how are you? I'll use the radio that works. Hey, Yanni, how are you? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing before you say hello to me? Because I was busy talking on a radio that doesn't work. Ah, oh, OK. Well, I'm in a manual car. Woohoo! Yeah, I mean, it's quite a good manual gearbox on that. You'll find out when you drive it. It's really nice, really tight, really precise, and it's quite good to launch as well. This is a monster. It's got all the turbo lag, then all the turbo torque, and it just likes to light up its rear tyres. I think your car does, but this one even more so. So what is mine like? So mine's obviously manual, so I'm going to probably struggle to get away. I've just had a little play around with the gearbox. It is very tight. It's exactly what you said. Yeah, very nice. This will struggle to get away just as much as your car because it's a dual clutcher. If I put it in launch control, it's just going to spin up its wheels because you have to have stability off. Run this car with stability off. It's spinning its wheels in up to fourth gear. It's crazy. So I'm going to run it with the stability control kind of halfway on, halfway off to just give me a little bit of control. Otherwise, it's too leery. Your car is a bit better for traction. So in other words, we've both got disadvantages so it should be um who can actually put the power down and get away and try not to stick it on the grass exactly my friend exactly let's do this i'm excited he's excited i'm excited and you're probably excited too however we've got some other exciting drag races coming up so if you don't want to miss those make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you'll be alerted when we put those races live because we're filming them today you'll like them anyway let's get on with the race now, before we actually race, we've got to do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to get Yanni to rev up his car first. Go on, Yanni, rev up your engine. Oh my God. What is that noise? Like something shaking in the car, mate. It actually scared me. Wait till you're actually driving it. It sounds insane. This sounds good as well. Have a listen to this. This. Can you hear, listen to that noise? What's that? Maybe the supercharger? No, it's coming from the roof. Unless the roof, unless the supercharger's on the roof, it ain't coming from, it's like it's coming from the roof lining, like it ain't on properly, hold on. Might be that, it might be the camera attached to the roof vibrating. Wow, this is a beast. Oh my God, I'm excited for this. Let's race, let's race, let's race. Okay, let's race. Oh, before we do, if you're thinking about selling your current car to buy a new car, you can do it through CarWow. It's dead easy. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. To do that right now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, simply Google 
help me car wow and we'll help you sell your car remember help me car wow i might need some help right now launching this absolute monster three two <sighs> one this doesn't want to launch This didn't get off the line. It's, when I did it earlier, it was much better. But your launch was really good. Manual, mate. I love a manual. And this has got like the drag strip setting, whatever. Yeah, nice. I like this. So that was close and this thing skipped gears, went sideways, had to back out of it. I want another go. I know it's normally best like two out of three and you won technically, yeah, but I think this can do a lot better. I definitely want another go because this didn't launch like the other time. So I'm happy to go again, even though I beat you. I need to make it a bigger win. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Done it again, it's bogged down. Nice That was dreadful. I, I, I need another go. Three. Oh, I've hit the windscreen wipers. It all went to pot again. I did one good launch and it was when we weren't filming. Cool story, mate. Is that the book of excuses? Three. Wow, my foot caught the pedal. So you won that then, and this car just dropped out of the power band, it spun up its wheels, lost control. The time before was quicker than the time I did just there, and you only just beat me there. I'm gonna tell you right now what happened. So my launch was really good. My foot was on the edge of the accelerator, and it was coming off. So literally I had to put my foot back onto the accelerator, but I still beat you. So either way, you're losing, mate. Doesn't matter what you do, you're not beating me today. I'm gonna do one more go. But just to put it out there, I've done it about 10, 12 times without failing, yeah? And the one time you get it right is the time that I have an issue with the car. Three, over the place, so sketchy. Finally, I mean, if we're talking about the number of times I had to do it to finally get there, you definitely won overall. But in the end, I managed to get a victory that was clear. Launch failed, sorry to say it, mate. I feel really bad. After the launch, every gear change was fine, but the launch literally just bogged right down on me. So, sorry. Okay, classic. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Ford won. It did the standing quarter mile in 11.5 seconds. Meanwhile, the BMW took 11.7 seconds. Okay, I gave up on the drag racing. So now we have a rolling race in third gear. 
I've put the car back into halfway house stability control because it spins up its wheels in third gear. So let's do this. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's, it's fighting its traction control. Oh, oh, and it's skating all over the place. Oh, wow. It's so scary. Wow, that was weird. It looked like you were just cruising all of a sudden, you thought, oh, let me put my foot in the accelerator. It just blitzed past me like I wasn't even moving. I know, it's, it's because I have the stability control on. It basically holds the power back when it starts to lose traction. It loses traction immediately, the turbo comes on boost, and it's just bucking against the stability control. It's strange, this. It needs to be on a prep surface with the right tyres. It's just too much power for the chassis. It was crazy, though. The minute you got that power down, you flew past me. Actually, let's do something else then. Let's try in fourth gear roll on, see what happens there. Let's do fourth gear roll on from around 60 odd. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, nah, no way. It's just skating about. It's an absolute Nut job this car. This car scares me, Annie. Should we do a brake test anyhow? You need to put me in the scary cars, Matt, because you're a little Let's do a brake test, okay? Come on. From 100 miles an hour. Now, if you'd rather watch some other crazy tune car drag race that also scared me, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll put the link in the description below. If not, let's see if this car actually brakes. Here comes the line. Yay! Victory! Eventually... Yeah, I think I won the rolling races though, yeah? Anyway, if you'd like a high-performance car which is not tuned and not quite so leery but still will make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, then click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below to check out a car I found on CarWow that will do just that, that there's a good saving on. Go on, check it out. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks to Tom Wrigley Performance and Clive Sutton for lending us these cars. Links to them in the description. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these cars you prefer in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to go to CarWow to sell your car the easy way. Upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Thanks for watching.